Night one of WrestleMania 40 is in the books, and Philadelphia is buzzing. Joe Tessitore, along with CM Punk, and the new yeah. tag team champion, The Miz. Congratulations, Thank Miz. Thank you very much. All right, let's get right to it. Speaking of tag teams, because it was billed as the biggest tag team match in WrestleMania history. Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins against The Rock and Roman Reigns, and it finishes with a rock bottom, a people's elbow that comes with a this is for you, Mama Rhodes, and then a cover by The Rock on Cody for the win. Your first reaction. Uh, deja vu all over again. I'm reliving a nightmare that I experienced firsthand about 10 years ago, and now our buddy Cody Rhodes is going through it. I didn't get a chance to wrestle the next night. Cody does. It's got to be all about redemption, but because of the way it went down the night, Tomorrow night's match, Cody versus Roman Reigns for the undisputed Universal title is bloodline rules. Which I mean, means isn't that what we be, just saw? Yeah, right. I mean, you did, he did exactly. everything he wanted to do. We're going to get to that. Yeah, the Rock absolutely. did everything he wanted to do. He dragged a referee out. And, like, I mean, there was just so much that was going on in that match that I was like, there was no 10 count. <laughs> there was no any count. No. Chad Patton was more worthless than he possibly ever has been in his entire career, and that's saying a lot. At one point, he turned to the official and said, if you count, you're fired. Well, that explains a lot. You know, Chad's got mouths to feed. You know, we, we, we can't go and lose his job here, basically. What did you think overall from start to finish of what we saw in the main event? On exactly what you expect from WrestleMania and the biggest WrestleMania, it was incredible from top to bottom. I mean, Rhea Ripley taking it to the man, Becky Lynch, in, in, in the first match. Then you have the ladder match that just literally was just chaos after chaos after and, chaos. And that's it was how you got Put yourself where, over, brother. You Thank were you. There. Hey, I, I, I was there. And let me tell you, it was yeah. cold out. It was really cold. I'm in, a, I'm in my Speedo, but... Truth was able to prevail. Truth walked up the the ladder and and retained the title or got the titles, and it was incredible. It was a great experience and amazing, and it was a blast. And Sami Zayn, Tom probably Gunther, probably the probably the biggest. You talk about Vegas and betting odds and all that. Probably the biggest dog on the card, and he pulls it out. Uh, shocking. Shocking result on that one for me. I thought Gunther was undefeated. He was, I, he was I, I, I've been in there with Gunther, and let me tell you something. He's all, everything he's cracked up to be. I mean, he made that Intercontinental Championship exactly what I always wanted it to be, which is prestigious and relevant, and it is more relevant than it's ever been in its history. It, a lot was made this week of what The Rock did in terms of his conditioning and training of eight weeks. There's a massive article on ESPN.com talking about a ring being sent to L.A., a ring being sent to Hawaii, and this being the first time in 11 years that he had a scheduled WrestleMania match. How did you think he looked physically and his mobility in there? They want to know, too. You're asking the questions. Or, or they, the, want or they wanted the you in the ring. <laughs> uh, I thought he looked great. You know, as being somebody who wrestled him 10 years ago and the same questions were lobbied around. Everybody wanted to know what he was going to look like, how his wind was going to be. And while there is a giant difference between a tag match or coming back to wrestle the champion, uh, I thought he did very well tonight. I thought he looked very good, and he won the match. So what really can I say? Let's face it. Now they're chanting for me to go. So I guess it's my turn. And uh, he looked incredible. And to say you still got it, he definitely still has it. And everything that he says, everything he does, it makes you glued to the television set. Biggest surprise of the night for you? Uh, I'll go back to Gunther, Sami Zayn. Mm -hmm. Sami Zayn winning the Intercontinental Championship from Gunther, who, again, I thought was just unbeatable. Biggest surprise for me. And, and at times during the match, he looked that way. I mean, there, Absolutely. Was, there were stretches, Miz, of absolute domination by Gunther in that match. Yeah, I mean, you know, you look at Gunther, he's hard-hitting, he's aggressive, but Sami Zayn, man, there is something about Sami Zayn. He knows how to fight from underneath, and he knows how to overcome the odds, and that's exactly what he did. Now let's get to your match. The Thank you. The six-pack ladder match. Listen. I didn't want to there, talk too much because I didn't just There, to there were Since when? jaw-dropping. <laughs> I mean, there were jaw-dropping moments there. Yeah, I mean, between Grayson Waller getting thrown through a ladder and JD getting thrown into tables, like, it's hard for me to tell you because I, I wasn't able to watch it because I was on the ground fixing myself, like, getting ready to go up and watching, like, whatever you saw, 
I didn't get to experience because I was on the ground hurt. Yeah, and Punk, I was looking at the height of some of those ladders sitting yeah. backstage. I'm a some of us backstage like to affectionately refer to those matches as car crashes. They're fun to watch. You know, they're not so fun to be in. But he's got the hardware, and what a great moment for Ronnie. 100%. You talk about a guy who has defied the odds. You talk about him almost losing his leg recently yes. to a, a bad operation and an infection. And two of the, two of the longest tenured guys right. on the crew yeah. deserves everybody's respect. Just a great moment. I'm happy for Ronnie. I'm happy for you. Being up there with Ronnie and uh, once he won and going up there, like we were almost in tears. Just holding, because he's waited so long for this moment at WrestleMania, and it, it was the fans. The fans are what brought it to. I mean, I don't think Ronnie has been as hot as he is right now. Speaking of the fans, 72,543, an electric, chilly atmosphere, but such energy here in Philadelphia. You gonna get a tattoo of the number? I'm so cold. No, I don't have no. any tattoos. Oh, okay. I I, you're talking so, to a guy who has zero tattoos. Hey, sorry, take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, it's a testament to not only to me, the athletes in the ring, to wrestle like that when it's just chilly out, uh, to the fans. The crazy freaks in Philly that also people from around the world. I, I, I guarantee you every single state was represented. I don't know how many countries. We love our numbers here in the WWE. You're going to hear it all get rolled out probably in the next coming days. But the, the most amazing thing to me, we got one day left. One this day. is two nights now. I'm it was excited, never man. like that when I was here before, so this no. is all new to me, and I'm going to really enjoy myself. We get to do this all again one more day. Yeah, and if you think the fans are wild right now, wait till tomorrow night. They get absolutely insane. Sunday night is their finale, and it's and by the way, it's not even our finale because we have Monday Night that's, Raw that's right. here in Philadelphia, and it just keeps rolling on. It, it does, but let's get to quickly how tonight's outcome now impacts tomorrow because tomorrow you have the undisputed universal championship and it will be bloodline rules because of what the rock was able to accomplish in how things finished up here this evening what do you forecast for tomorrow night's main event chaos more of the same thing there shouldn't even be a referee to walk out there but there will be because somebody is going to have to count the three if roman wants his hand raised if roman wants to retain and continue this legendary run he's on he's going to need a referee to count the three but the problem with that is the referee is also going to be out there to count the three if his shoulders are down and you best believe cody's got a lot of friends bloodline they run thick as thieves there's a couple of samoans backstage a few of them might have played football. A few of them might have been shipped in from the islands. I saw a lot of them that I never recognized before, that I'd never seen. Uh, Cody also has a, a thick crew. So I'm not, I'm not saying what you probably think I'm saying, but Cody does have backup. So it turns into some sort of warfare where there's sides and there's all sorts of chaos going on. I, I think Cody's got some phone numbers in his Rolodex well, he can well, call. There, there's a lot of speculation as to who Cody's backup will be. Perhaps some glass shattering, perhaps some other legends out there, but everybody's speculating as to who's going to come to his aid tomorrow. And that's what the best part about WrestleMania is. We speculate, we try to see what's going to happen, but there's always surprises. No matter how many times you speculate, how many, how many names you consider, maybe it's this guy, maybe it's this guy. When it happens, you literally go, I didn't know that was going to happen, and I didn't know it was going to happen like that. So that does it for WrestleMania 40, night number one, where Awesome Truth now has hardware. Congratulations to The Miz and our truth Rhea Ripley defeats Becky Lynch to open up the night. And in the end, it is The Rock and Roman Reigns with the win. So tomorrow, it will be bloodline rules.